Now with our series Main Street USA all week long, we've been visiting towns all across the country mm. where the American spirit is alive and well. And this morning, Maria Villarreal is south of Houston in Pearland, Texas. Maria, good morning to you. You've got quite the crowd out there. We do, and my job is so horrible this morning, guys. It's so horrible as I'm out here in Pearland, Texas. Give them a little... Look at this amazing crowd right behind me. This city has everything. Everything from barbecue to boots. Take a look. Giant, colorful pears sprinkled around every corner. The growing city of Pearland, located just south of Houston, is home to a thriving community of small businesses. We might see fish this morning. And public facilities like the Dolores Fenwick Nature Center. Our entire mission is to help connect the Pearland community with nature and outdoor recreation. A fun educational hub for curious minds of all ages, where visitors can interact and learn about Texas wildlife. In here, we can be loud, we can be messy, we can have fun, we can grab it, feel it, smell it, maybe don't taste it, but we can do all of those different things to engage with nature. And located right off Pearland's Main Street, Good is the family-friendly and lively Valentin's Brewing Company, known for their great beverages and hospitality. We have a lot to offer in Pearland. There's so much to do here, and we're, we're proud to be part of that. Everybody has been amazing to us. The, the community here has been outstanding, and, and I couldn't have picked a better city. And for the trendiest cowboy fashion. It's a style. It's just a way of living. Segura Western Wear has you covered. We treat everyone like family. So when somebody walks in, you feel welcome. Here we go. Thank you so much. And just across the street, in what used to be a school cafeteria, is the acclaimed Killen's Barbecue, a Pearland staple. I kind of wanted to take my classical training and put it to use as far as barbecue and see how I can make it better. To me, you're only as good as the last person you serve. <laughs> All right, we are here with the Ronnie Killen, and I have to say, I've been to your place more than more times than I'd like to admit. The one thing I always walk away from is everything is incredible, but the sauce is amazing. Oh, thank you. you are sharing this recipe with us today. Yes, ma'am. All right, give Very us the rundown. Um, basically, you just start off with a little butter, okay. and then we take a little onion, yeah. just kind of salt it and sweat it down. All right, onions and sizzle. butter, always amazing. And then it, I like to put a little, little lemon juice in there just because you get a little acid oh, from it. Oh, okay. And then oh, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Okay, Worcestershire. Everybody always has that up. <laughs> Got it. And then I like to put a little Coca-Cola. That's my secret ingredient. This is the secret ingredient. Yes, okay, only right here. Texas barbecue secret ingredient. Got it. And then All put right. your little Coke in there. Perfect. And then brown sugar. Brown sugar go next. Got put it. that in there. What else do you need next? It goes as soon as it gets incorporated. All right. Take it, stir it up a little bit, mix it, and then we will go with uh, ketchup. Ketchup, okay. And we wait on well, the ketchup actually, for what actually, reason? Actually, let's go with the mustard first. Okay, we're going to hurry then, though, because I want to make okay. sure we get down to the end, which is my favorite part, the barbecue. There we go. Okay. And this is a little bit of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Got just it. gives it's it a, a little bit of, yep. So it's kind of like you get all your taste. It tastes sweet, okay. so sour. You get all those Texas flavors. Why don't I do this while you move on over there? I'm going to stir this up right here and add the ketchup at the end. You have a water bottle here. Why is this important? Because when you barbecue, you always want to, I mean, if you have a fire or a flare up or anything, like this, okay. this will get it out, and it's you don't mess your meat up. And also, you can take in Mr. You know, briskets and stuff, from yeah, the cooking on the on the smoker right then. And right next to you is the most important part of this rundown right now it's the, the meat in and of itself. I'm gonna leave this here because we need to get to the important stuff. <laughs> there you go. We have amazing meat right here. Uh huh. No there need to put that on, just slice it up. I, I will put it in <laughs> my mouth, hopefully, gracefully. And the, the last tip that you have is to let the meat rest. You rest. always want to let it rest. Well, Three, four hours, and you know, it's like temperature when you pull briskets and stuff, it's probably about 200 degrees. Perfect. So, you want to cut it about 150. Amazing. That's what, that's Thank you so much for joining us here in Pearland.